greatest of all teachers and giver of love, hope, faith, and wisdom, look upon your children, the teachers, learners, parents, guardians, and out-of-school youth and adults. We humbly ask for your mercy and forgiveness. Guide us to the right path. May our efforts be blessed with insights and understanding, wisdom and respect for all. Bless us with patience, for the path of learning is never easy. Bless our commitment to keep on learning new knowledge and experiences. Let your light shine upon us as we make our world a better place to live in. Amen. Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po, at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para lampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito.
Ayan, hello, good morning, good morning. So, ayan na si Tutor Dada. So, how are you, Tutor Dada? <laughs> uh, hello po. Masining na umaga po sa bawat isa at lalo na sa iyo, Tutor Aldrich. Ayun uh-huh. po, uh, medyo mahirap ang ating connection ngayon. <laughs> Hindi ako okay naman wala. Hindi <laughs> ako na wala kanila. Clear naman ang inyong ano ang uh, inyong visual okay. kaya laban na laban yan. So, so as you've yes. noticed, meron pong important appointment of Tutor Nolet also with Tutor Tony na nasa Baguio siya ngayon. Meron silang shoot for TV broadcast kaya wala sila ngayon dito. And I do hope na for the last session Meron pa ba tayong two weeks, sir, no? Before... Opo, meron pa tayong two weeks. Meron pa, kaya siguro mabubuo kami noon. Okay? <laughs> so, so, Tutor Dada, pwedeng bong pa sabi muna kung ano yung na-discuss ninyo last session together with Tutor Nola. Kung baga, konting ano lang, recap. Yeah. So, recap tayo dun sa last week natin na... Uh, 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 lesson. So, last week, Tutor Aldrich, uh, pinsapan... Uh, ni uh, namin ni mam uh, ni tutor na let yung tungkol sa romantic period ng music at saka na arts ganun din um uh, karagdagan dun sa akin sa arts syempre din discuss natin yung paano tayo mag-reflect doon sa ating mga artworks aside from paintings and doon yung sculptures and architecture na meron din tayo dito sa Pinas. So, nag-tour tayo around the Philippines doon sa ating mga artworks. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. At saka nakita ko rin na during Renes, romantic ba yun, sir? Or mga romantic architectures? Yes po, meron tayong romantic, neoclassical, mm-hmm. at saka neo-gothic. Yan. Na kung saan, importante yun kasi some of our students nowadays, hindi nila napapansin na we still have this kind of architectures here in the Philippines na hango during the romantic period. Kaya kung saan, mainam na talaga ay ma-appreciate ng mga students natin yung mga ganitong klaseng architectures that we have here in the Philippines. So wala, mm. hindi. So ready ka na ba, sir, for our three-minute Zumba session? <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> Change outfit ako kanina. <laughs> Ito po, okay. ayan. Nakapang-PE so, ako. I do hope na makikisabay sa atin yung mga viewers natin. So, let me just shout out yung mga nandito, sir. Of course, ang ating number one fan na si Ma'am Ambita, one of my colleagues before sa Tanzania National Trade School. Also with... Ma Ace Anog from Enrile Vocational High School. Ayan, si Romel Aquino. Good morning, good morning. John Radial Madriaga Galupo from Esperanza East Elementary School. Wow! Even if I am be, I am teaching grade 9 PE, may mga elementary teachers din tayo dito or parents. Okay, good morning. Kai Zin Respicio, watching from Esperanza Elementary School. Ayan. Shout out, shout out sa inyo. <laughs> so I guess ready na sila so that we can start the discussion, no? Tutor Dada, so ready ka na ba? Hindi ba masakit ang iyong kasukasuan? Kasukasuan. So, so far, hindi naman. <laughs> laban na laban tayo dyan, sir. Ayan, nagpapashout out yung kaibigan ko na wala naman dito. Ayan, si John Emmanuel Pasqua. Isa siyang teacher dito sa Imus, sa St. Edward. Shout out sa iyo. Mr. John Emmanuel Domingo. Ayan. So, uh, Ma'am Jane, could you please share my, ano please, my video? Ayan. Ayan, nakikita nyo dyan. Para ako nakukrucify. So, I guess ready na yung iba. So, before we start, you need to find a space for you to move. And, of course, um, a comfortable wear or clothing. Yes po, Tutor Jane, kasi sasama na ko ni Tutor Dada for the Zumba. And then right after the Zumba, um, dun lang po siya mag-exit. Ayan, riding ready na si Tutor Dada. So all we have to do is to follow the steps. These are just simple steps that I made last night, gabing-gabi na. Pero okay lang yan, ilaban natin yan, okay? So, so ready na ba lahat? 
pwede ko bang malaman sa <laughs> sa comment section kung ready na ang lahat? Could you please comment ready? Tingnan nga natin kung may mga ready dito sa ano natin. Sa ating group chat. Sino na ba ang ready? Ayan, madami nang nagre-ready. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Ready, ready, ready. Ayan, si John Madriaga Galupo. Opo, okay. Be sure you need to have or provide yourself a space. Ayan, si Tutor Dada. Ready, ready na. Ready na ba, sir? Meron ka na bang water? <laughs> Meron yes, ka na bang po, water? Always. Yes, always. Meron akong, opo, oh, katabi ko yan lagi. Ayan, ayan, ayan. So, simulan na natin. It's already 9-4 so that we can move on to our next session. Tutor Jane, kayo po bang magpe-play or ako na po? Okay, you have to provide yourself a space. Kita ba ako? Mm-hmm. Ayan, so ready na tayo. Ready na, ready na. Okay, clap tayo. Clap. That is the same clap. 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 Low, it's not. One. Two. Eight. Eight. Sixteen. Go lang, guys. Go. Sa ba? Pwede ko si sa ba ba? Tapos din. <laughs> first, huwag ka mo lang uupo, Dada. We need to execute the warm down first. 
Okay? So, inhale, exhale. Simple lang kasi simple lang ating ginawang Zumba ngayon. Inhale. Exhale. Okay? Four times to. There, meron pang tatlo. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One. Sana lang. Inhale. Exhale. Ayan. Let's go back. <laughs> Thank you, Shooter Aldrich. Hindi pinagpawisan na ako ng Brighton. Ang ganda ng music mo. <laughs> Gustong gusto ko siya. Yung, yung ano ba, yung upbeat siya na talagang so, mapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapapap
um, may patron, sacred, religious festival. So ngayon naman, I'm going to discuss about the first aid application to some common injuries of festival dancers. Okay, and thanks to the writers also, the editors, the reviewer, and then the management theme, of course, of all their knowledge, they need to recognize. Kasi nga, we are using their module. Okay, next. Okay, Festival Dances First Aid and Application, Physical Education Quarter 3. <clears throat> but before we proceed, I am your tutor, Aldrich, for today, and I will be helping you answering your module, especially your activities, okay? Sa mga estudyante ko or to those student, my students who are here today, this is somehow your advantage because you are not just simply learning, you are somehow finding the correct answers to your activities. At the end of the module, you should be able to explain the importance of appropriate first aid application. Well, this topic is just somehow a recap to what Sir Tony have discussed last session. Kasi nga, nung nag siya, about first aid to some intentional or unintentional injuries naman sa health natin. Somehow, maganda itong kumbaga recap or summary ng diniscuss ni Sir Tony last session. It's because parang there's a similarities between my topic and... Sir Tony's topic last session, okay? Execute the basic first aid during dance setting. Since we are in a new normal scheme, hindi muna tayo makapag-execute, pero I will be teaching or showing you the basic first aid to some common injuries, okay? And then cite the value of first aid in real life. Ayan. Ano nga ba ang value ng first aid? How important the first aid or how important the first aid in our life? Nakakatulong ba ito? Meron ba itong magandang na idudulot? If we knew about first aid, ito ba ay mag makakasalba kahit papano sa atin? We'll get to know more about that, okay? So what's new? Let's have some brief definition about our topic for today. For many people, dance may not spring to mind when thinking about sports, okay? But the physical demands placed on the bodies of dancers. Hindi lang yung mga athletes or yung mga atletang Pinoy natin ang nagkaka-injured minsan. It can also be the dancers. Okay? Kaya nga festival dancers, first aid and its application. Okay? Most professional dancers began dancing at the age of five or six. That is a fact. Kasi nga, if you want to be a skilled, a good performer, or an athlete, sinasabak ng kanilang mga magulang at a very young age. It says here, age of five or six. The repetitive practice of movements that require extreme flexibility, strength, and endurance, it makes them prime candidates for overuse injuries. Okay, if you have noticed that some of the dancers or athletes, they somehow overuse their bodies or expose, expose their bodies to some extensive trainings. Kaya ang nangyayari, when they get older, ang kanilang katawan ay hindi na kinakaya yung pagod nung sila ay training pa at a very young age. Kaya mainam na na tayo ay magkaroon ng basic first aid for us to somehow prevent further injuries. Kasi pag meron kang alam about first aid, makikita mo na you can somehow cure your cure yourself without asking others. So we do have here that we need to consider there are three. Okay, so we have the parental oversight, proper instruction, and medical care and screening. Okay, so students, as I've said, listen carefully so that when we have our activities later, makakasagot kayo agad-agad. So, pag sinabi natin parental oversight, alam naman natin na ang mga magulang ay may malaking role sa paghubog ng kanilang anak. They must be careful not to encourage 
their children to advance to higher levels of training at an unsafe rate. So parents should um, have have this knowledge about the trainings na ipapagawa sa kanilang mga anak. They are not just simply, oh, punta ka dito kasi maganda tong sport na to or maganda tong sayaw na to. Dapat inaaral din na magulang. It says here, parental oversight. There must be the proper guidance of the parents. Or if you are the instructor or the dancers as well, dapat marunong kang magtanong muna or tanungin mo muna si magulang kung ito ba ay makakabuti. Okay? Or as a parent, you should know first kung ano yung activity na ipapagawa sa anak or sa salihan. Okay? Next is proper instruction from the word itself. Proper instruction. Pag sinabi nating improper minsan, pag sinabing improper compared to proper, improper meaning leads to some in intentional injuries. Kasi nga, mali-mali yung binigay mong instructions, especially if you are the instructor. Okay? A student should also be instructed consistently on the importance of warm-ups and cool-downs. Gaya ng ginawa natin kanina, before we execute some activities, we need to have warm-up first. Okay? Not just for us to be sweat, not para pagpawisan, but then, para kahit papano, i-ready natin yung katawan natin for some activities like dancing or even sports. Proper equipment and at what point, whether by age or maturity. Okay? You have to consider also the age. Hindi ka naman basta-basta magpapa sayaw or magpapa-exercise without considering the age. Okay? Shout out, Janaline Morsha. Ayan ang aking estudyante nandito. Also with John Radel Galupo, you're so active. Mega shout out sa'yo, Miss John Radel Erica, okay. Good morning, good morning. From Esperanza Elementary School, Aurora Isabella. Wow, Isabella. Mga, may mga Ilocanos here. The next one would be medical care and screening. Okay? The medical professional plays a significant role in not only treating and rehabilitating the injuries dancers incur, but also in preventing them. Okay? Kaya mainam, as you've noticed, pag may mga sports fest or mga uni games sa ganyan, may mga medical team tayo. Okay? Kasi sila yung mga um, sila yung mga mga pinagkakatiwalaan natin para sila yung mga gamot sa mga unintentional injuries ng ating mga dancers or even ang ating mga um, athletes. Okay? Dancers respond well to medical providers who respect both the aesthetic and intensity of the dance. Kaya andun sila. And of course, if you think may masakit sa iyong katawan, don't be afraid to tell these um, medical care para kahit papano alam nila yung kanilang gagawin sa iyo. Okay? Next, move on. So these are the common dance injuries na kadalasan nangyayari sa kanila. Strain. Okay? Madalas ito ang nangyayari. Okay? It says here, it is an injury to the muscle which is a result of improper use of the muscles. Meaning, improper use. It can also be masyado mong pinagod yung sarili mo, masyado kang nag-jogging, mga ganun. These, those are the possible scenarios. So, if you have experienced this, meaning kasi parang napunit yung muscle mo, okay? Parang napunit siya as shown on the picture. So, the first aid for this, rest the injured, injured part. Example, dito sa kamay ko. Let's take this an example. Okay, shout out Fernando Ponseca, watching from Esperanza East. Ayan, thank you so much. Okay, na-injured ka. So, all you have to do is to rest the injured part. Okay? I-rest mo lang muna. Okay? Um, keep it calm. Huwag kang masyadong mataranta. Apply ice compress. If you have a clean cloth, pwede kang kumuha ng yelo and then balutin mo ng cloth and then idadampi mo siya. Or should I say, i -ano mo siya, ilalapat mo lang dun sa, sa tingin mong masakit and then elevate the injured part. Pwede mong itaas, ganyan. 
or it can also be pag yung paa naman, pwede kang humiga and then get a chair, ilalagay mo yung paa mo dun sa chair. Okay? Elevate the injured part. That is strain kasi somehow masakit ito while waiting for the medical team. Okay? So, this is the first aid. Kesa naman, while waiting for the medical team, eh, wala kang ginawa. Baka mas lalong kumirot or even maging worst. Okay? Next, heat exhaustion. It is a caused by loss of salt and water due to excessive high temperature and this may lead to heat stroke and even death. Hmm. Maraming ganito minsan nahihimatay, lalo na sa mga dancers, mga nagpa-practice, sa katirika ng araw, even athletes, or even students sa loob ng classroom. So what should you do? Instead na magpanik, magsisigaw, you have to do is to transport a victim to a cool place. Example, nagpa-practice sa labas, sa playground, dalhin si pasyente sa malilim na area. Okay? Give him her a plenty of water. Though there are some restrictions na hindi mo naman basta-basta bigyan ng tubig, hindi mo basta-basta buhatin, mamaya malalaman natin what are proper procedure. Okay? Check for vital signs. Pwede mo dito i-check. It can also be dito sa wrist. Lahat yun. Pwede mong i-check. And then, seek for medical help. Okay? Yun ang importante. Kailangan magpatulong if some of your classmates are not knowledgeable about giving first aid. Next one. Heat stroke. It is a caused by a failure of the thermostat in the brain to regulate body temperature. Minsan, same as with heat stroke to, sa sobrang init, minsan madalas, ito yung madalas na dahilan kung bakit may mga namamatay. So, here are the first aid application for this one. Move the person immediately to a cool place, same as with heat exhaustion kanina. Remove as much of his outer clothing as possible. If you think siya ay naka-jacket or he or she's wearing a jacket, tanggalin yun, carefully removing that jacket. Kung nakabotones naman, i-unbutton mo, pero hindi naman totally na kailangan mong tanggalin lahat para lang makahinga siya ng maayos, okay? And then seek for medical help. Again, these are somehow just a simple first aid to some common injuries, okay? Yung kay Sir Tony, yung sa health ninyo, yun ang mas broad. Okay? Yun yung mas malawak ang discussion. This this um somehow is just a recap, okay? Shout out, Christine Hayes and Feliciano. Ayan, good morning po. Thank you from, taga saan siya? Nine Kepler. Siya, ang teacher niya naman ay si Ma'am Joan Rodriguez. Ayan, thank you so much for joining us today. Kaya dapat nakarandam na ang dancer need to seek agad for medical help according to Jason Cagnetti. Ayan, shout out. Saan kaya galing school yan si Jason? Okay, next, dislocation. It is a partial partial or complete displacement of the bounds. Okay, partial or complete displacement. Meaning, as you've seen on the picture, parang talagang na-dislocate siya. Yung proper alignment ng mga bones, eh parang kumaliwa or tumaas, bumaba, okay? Suklo somehow is a part of this location. Call for help immediately kasi you can easily cure a dislocated finger or dislocated arm. Hindi mo basta-basta galawin yan, okay? Splint affected area. What do, by, what do you mean by splint? You just have to get some hard tool or material para lang pang suporta dun sa affected area. Example, kung etong kamay, lalagyan mo siya ng kahoy and then carefully wrap it with bandage. Okay? Hindi mo basta-basta ihigpitan. Kasi that's the purpose of splinting while traveling. Hindi siya gagalaw. Okay? That's the purpose of that. Do not try to move the dislocated part or force it back into place, okay? As I've said a while back, do not force, okay, the dislocated part of your body. Huwag mo rin subukang um, pwersahin na ibalik kasi you, 
um, as we all know, admit the fact that you are not a good first aider. You are just there just to help the victim. If you have knowledge about giving first aid, why not? Pero if you don't have enough knowledge about first aid, better to give your support na lang. Huwag kang magmarunong na magbigay na alam kong ganyan-ganyan that may cause the patient become, you know, mas maano pa, mas lumala yung kanyang injury, okay? Next, the last one would be fracture. It is a break or crack in a bone. Ito yung mas malala as compared to dislocation. Ang dislocation, pwede pang gawin, pwede pang magawa ng paraan yan through siguro sa sa professional na maghihilot or yung mga mga doctors. Pero sa, pero sa pag sa fracture kasi somehow triple yung kirut nito kasi nga there's a crack. Kumbaga na bali na yung buto. Okay? Check the vital signs first. Kailan mong i-check kung ito ba ay humihinga or na-shock siya because he or she found out that she has or he has this fracture. Do not move the injured part. Same as with dislocation. Huwag na huwag mong gagalawin kasi masakit to, okay? Stop bleeding if there is any. What if merong na dumudugo siya? So gagawin mo lang, get a clean cloth and then itatapal mo muna pero don't put some pressure while kumbaga stopping the bleeding. I maglalagay ka lang ng cloth and then itatapal mo siya and then i-wrap mo siya ng um, hindi gaano mahigpit kasi nga pag hinigpitan mo it may add pressure to the injury kaya it should be gentle. If you have to move the person, immobilize broken part by splinting. Same as with this location kanina. Kung gusto mo i-transfer yung victim, you have to make a splint first to the injured part of his or her body. Especially sa road. Example, na disgrasya. Nakita mong may nabali yung buto. Or even dancers, pagkalif ng ganun, improper landing. Yung sa paa niya, nabali. So kailangan ganun. Kung itatransfer mo siya, you need to make sure na um, you provide the victim a splinting for his or her injury. Okay? And then seek medical help immediately. Kailangan agad-agad. Okay? Mais Anog, watching from Enrile Vocational High School SD o Kagayan. Wow! Hello, ma'am! Naimbag abigat mo. Mais Anog from Kagayan, Ilocano. Okay? Thank you so much po. Now, here we go. What I need to know. So let's check whether you have something learned about our topic for today. It says here, read the states, statements carefully. Choose the letter of your answer. It says here, it refers to the factor where students should be able, should be instructed consistently on the importance of warm-ups and cool-downs, as well as the use of proper in equipment. What factor for first aid intervention is referred to? So can I see your answers? Is it A, B, C, or D? Upon reading the question, you have already know the answer, okay? Because there are some key points there that you can find on the choices. So can anyone... Can anyone give their answer on question number one? So what do you think is the answer? Anyone? I am waiting for your answer. So I will give the answer first, okay? So that you will know. So the first or the answer would be it says here, instructed. According to Ma'am Ma'ez Anog, it's letter B. Very good, Ma'am. Thank you so much. Okay? Yung mga sudyante ko, magsagot na. Okay? Sabay niyo ako magsagot on your module para may maipasa na kayo agad-agad. Next, question number two. It refers to the factor that medical professional plays a significant role in not only treating and rehabilitating the injuries dancers incur. Ayan. It says here, 
the question somehow gave you already the answer if you have this analyzation or if you analyze the question. Medical nakalagay niyang professional plays a significant role. So the answer is the medical care and screening. Ayan. Sila yung mga tagapamahala or pag may mga injured person. Okay. Next. Number three, it refers to the factor that parents play a large role in dense injury prevention. They must be... Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> they must be... Asa na ba tayo? They must be careful not to encourage your children to advance to higher levels. It says here, training at an unsafe rate. Ayan. Ano ba? What do you think is the answer? Holding to L.I. Caballero, it's letter A. Thank you so much. Ayan, si Christine Hyacinth Feliciano. Maes Anand, thank you so much. Next, it is caused by a failure of the thermostat in the brain to regulate body temperature. I've discussed this earlier. So, Claren Panganiban, it's letter A, letter A, letter A, kanina. How about this one? Okay. Dami Batalliones, thank you so much. So, the answer for this one is, it's letter, it's letter D. Ayan. It's, wow, ang top fan natin, si Darwin Rahinius, Sir Darwin, thank you so much. Ayan. Ang ating top fan. So the answer is letter D. So the question number five is, it is an injury that is partial, partial or complete displacement of the bones. What do you think of the answer for this one? For this question? It says here, partial or complete displacement. Kung baga nasuklo ka or even hindi nag hindi tumama yung alignment ng yung buto. So the answer for this one is dislocation. If you experience dislocated finger, ganon, seek for medical help. Or if you know the first aid for that, the basic first aid for that, then well and good. Okay, next. Number six. It is, okay, thank you so much. You are correct, Christine Hyacinth Feliciano. It is an injury that muscles, which is result of improper use of the muscles. Okay, improper use of the muscles. Masyado mong pinagod yung sarili mo instead of taking rest first. Kaya nga meron tayo mga water break, ganun pag if you're a dancer, if you're an athlete, for you to rest first. Pero ikaw, gusto mong gumala ng gumalaw, nagjog ka ng matagal. Kaya nagkaroon ng pagkapunit ng iyong muscles. So the answer would be, you're correct, Miss Jonalyn Murcia, one of my students, L.I. Caballero, letter C. Ayan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan. So letter C, thank you so much. How Bami Ballestero, Batalliones, thank you so much. Mark Joseph Galzote. How about question number seven? It is an injury that refers to a break or crack in a bone. Ito talaga yung nabali yung buto. What do you think is the answer for this one? Number seven. Can I see your answers? Or can you show me your answers? Question number seven. Okay. So according to Jason, Jace, Jason, Jason, it's letter B. Claren Panganiban's letter B. Jonalyn, it's letter B. So I know naman na you've already understood what I've discussed earlier. Ayan, Feliciano. It's letter B. Ayan, dapat may sasakyan pala dyan, no? May car para malahat. Kasi para siyang ano eh, para siyang math. Number eight. Mark Joseph Galzote. Ayan, shout out. Thank you. You are correct. It is caused by loss of salt and water due to extensive... Ay, excessively high temperature. This may lead to heart, ayun, na-press ka na pala, heart stroke or heat stroke and even death. So it's heat exhaustion. Ayan, na-press ko pala. Number nine, first aid application on this injury. Okay. Sa tingin ninyo, if you knew this 
first in application to specific injury. Sa tingin ninyo, ano to? You have to splint the affected area. Lagyan mo ng suporta. Do not try to move a dislocated part or force it back into place. Ayan. And apply ice on injured part to reduce swelling, yung pamamaga. Kaya nga natin maglagay ng um, splint or apply cold compress. So number nine daw is letter B, fracture. Mm -hmm. Good morning po, Isaac Joseph D. Sulit. Ayan, shout out. Claren Panganiban, it's letter A. Number nine. So try natin. It's letter A. It says here, do not try to move a dislocated part. Meaning, the question is somehow giving you a clue already. Okay? Do not move the, a dislocated part of your body. For example, your hand or your leg. Wag mo basta basta igagalap. So next one, number 10. Rest the injured part. Apply ice. Compress the injured part and elevate the injured part. Ayan, ang daming part. Ano kaya ito? What specific injury applied for this first aid application? It's strain. Okay? Same as with dislocated kanina, you have to elevate the injured part. Okay? To reduce the pain. Another... um. Another activity that you will find on your module is the true or false. Okay, you have, okay, correct Miss Hyacinth Feliciano also with Carl Jasper Hilario. You are correct with your answer. Also with another activity that you found, that you will find on your module, this is the true or false. You just have to um, write T if you think the statement is correct, and then F4 if you think, if it is not. Okay, you are correct, Galliardo Dominic, Angeline Talgum, thank you so much. So it's good to give food to an unconscious victim. Is it true or false? Totoo ba to or mali na kailangan bigyan ng pagkain yung unconscious, yung wala, wala siyang malay na tao? Bibigyan mo ba siya ng pagkain? Is it um, must that we give food to an unconscious victim. According to Sir Darwin Rahi Reginio, Kija Montev, how do, how do I pronounce this? Montev Virgin, and then Bami Batalyanis. It's, of course, false. Wala nga siyang malay. Tapos bibigyan mo pa siya ng pagkain. Mas lalo, mo, mas lalo mong pinalala yung sitwasyon na kung saan pwedeng bumara sa kanyang throat at that could somehow lead that victim for his or her breathing. For him to, you know, not to breathe properly. Okay? Next. First aid takes place, takes the place when the services of a physician begin. Ganun ba yun? What do you think, class? First aid takes the place when the services of a physician begin. What do you think? True or false? It's false. Dapat, without the presence of the physician, dapat ang mga first aiders, sila muna ang gagawa kasi while waiting for the physician, nandun ang presensya ng first aiders just to give simply the first aid to some unintentional injuries. Okay, hindi yung nandiyan na yung physician, dun palang gagalaw yung mga magpa-first aid. No, that's a no-no. Kaya it should be false or letter F. Okay? Ayan. Next, the victim is experiencing shock if his eyes are dilated. Meaning parang nakadilat yung kanyang pupil ay parang bilog na bilog, nakadilat na ganun. Totoo ba yun? Yes or no? If his or her eyes are dilated, it's true. Okay, okay. Janaline Morsha, thank you so much. Oh, tapos na siguro ito magsagot ng module. Ayan. Totoo yun. Okay? Pag may nakita kang classmates na ganun, 
um, don't make fun of it, but instead, tulungan mo siya. Okay? Next. The rice method is used in treating sprains and strains. When we are dealing with rice method, it is somehow discussed by Sir Tony last session. We do have rest for R. I is ice compression, the I and C, ice compression. And then E would be the elevate. Always remember this basic step in giving first aid to specific injuries. Hindi, hindi naman lahat applicable yung rise sa mga ibang injuries. But then, this method is somehow the basic one. Okay? So the answer is, it's true. Yes. Gallardo, Dominic, thank you. Next, apply direct pressure to stop severe bleeding of a wound. Ganun ba yon? Apply direct pressure to stop severe bleeding. Example, you accidentally cut your hand or ito, um, finger. Kasi naghihiwa ka ng mga gulay. Eh, parang you accidentally cut your fingernail. Eh, nagdudugo siya. The, the traditional way of doing that kasi, ang na, naituro or ginagawa nyo, you keep on sucking your blood. Which is, that is very wrong practice na kung saan ang dugo natin ay madumi. But instead, wash your wound with a clean water, with a warm water, and then wrap it with a clean cloth. Yun lang. And then you have to elevate if your finger, if you accidentally cut your finger. Ganun lang. Itataas mo lang. And then you have to press a little bit just to stop the bleeding. Hindi huwag masyadong Madiin, kasi nga pag diniinan mo, lalo siyang mag-add ng pressure. Okay? So, apply direct pressure to stop severe bleeding of a wound. So, the answer is true. Para mapigilan mo yung pagbibleed. Okay? Direct pressure. You have to wrap it with a clean cloth and then you have to press it a little bit, not too hard, and then you have to elevate the injured part. Okay? Ganun lang yon Ang dami nang sasabi na false. Ayan. Again, it talks about bleeding. Kaya it's true. Okay? Next. Thank you so much. Kija Montevirgin. Vir Virgin. Ayan. Kinda Fey Ganela. Okay. Next. What's in? Number six. A good first aider informs the victim of the severity of the injury. Is it? a good quality of a good first aider to inform the victim about the severe severity of uh, his or her injury? Yes or no? Or true or false? What do you think is the answer for this one? Number six is false. According to Junaline Morsha. Wow, napaka-active. Hello, good morning, Sir Basa. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> Ayan. What is the answer? Is true according to Claren Panganiban. But According to Murcia, it's false. Galliard Dominic, it's false. The good thing about this is you are not just simply giving your answers. You are somehow um, learning. Natututo ka while answering your module. Okay? The answer is false. Wanna know why? Ang biktima kasi, try to put your shoe as a victim. Example, na-disgrasya ka, medyo sabihin na natin pasintabi, medyo nagkaroon ka ng fracture na na-break na yung buto, naputol. Ay, hindi naputol. Oh, yeah, naputol. As a first aider, what you should do is to stay calm. Kasi pag nakikita ng biktima na you are somehow panicking, nagpapanik ka, ang mangyayari, mapapanik din yung victim. Kasi one good qualities of a good first aider is to possess positivity. Even if you think na medyo severe na yung nararamdaman ni victim, kailan mo ipakita na mag-relax ka para ma-relax din yung victim. Okay? Huwag mo dapat sasabihin na naputol yung paa mo, hindi na magagamot yung paa mo, or severe yung nangyari sa'yo, nakikita niyo yung laman, whatsoever. Do not inform the victim, but instead, make him or her comfortable. Okay? Huwag mo basta-basta sasabihin na ganito yung nangyari sa'yo. 
as a good first aider, you must possess positivity and goodness. Okay? Ayan, according to Keisha Montevergin, it's false. How about number seven? Ay, ay, naibigay ko. <laughs> naibigay ko na yung sagot. Immobilize the fractured part before taking a victim to the hospital. It's true. Immobilize means giving splinting or bigyan muna siya ng first aid before taking the victim to the hospital. Baka questioning ka, ba't mo, pinu- ba't mo dinala agad-agad dito without giving first aid first? Eh, ang tagal dumating ng ambulansya. Those are somehow some of the scenarios or situations that are still existed today. Okay? Next. Primary and secondary surveys of the victims are performed if the scene is not safe. Sabi na natin, nagkakaputukan or na, may nakita ka na disgrasya sa kalsada. You think, mag, makapag-perform ka ba or gagawin mo pa rin yung primary and secondary surveys? Kahit hindi na safe yung environment, what do you think is the answer for this one? It should be false. Okay? When we are dealing with primary surveys, these are, you are checking the airways, the breathing. Those are the primary surveys. Ang secondary surveys naman, from head to toe, iti-check mo naman kung may mga, ba- kung may bali siya, mayroon siyang sugat. Those are secondary surveys. Okay? Pag primary naman, iti-check mo yung breathing niya, yung kanyang vital signs. So kung nasa gitna ng kalsada, sa tingin mo gagawin mo yun? No. You should perform primary and secondary surveys at a very safe place. Para kahit paano doon mo makita talaga yung totoong nangyari sa biktima. Okay? Very good. How about this one, the first consideration in transporting a victim is to identify the place where the victim will be transferred. Okay? Kailangan ba yun? Of course, that is very true. You have to know the safest place first before you transfer the victim or the injured person. Not just simply bubuhatin mo na lang siya or you just simply carry the victim without knowing the fact na you are not somehow recognizing first what is the safest place for that victim. But instead, you have to search is it first. You have to search the safest place for the victim. So the answer for this one is true. Okay? The last one, okay, matatapos na rin tayo. The last one is checking if something is blocking the airway of the victim is the last step in doing the primary survey of the victim. Yun bang huling ano natin? Yun ba yung huling gagawin natin? Titingnan natin yung kanyang bunganga if something is blocking on his or her breathing. Kung sa tingin mo nahihirapan huminga yung pasyente or yung biktima, sa tingin mo ihuhuli mo yung pagtanggal ng mga nakabara sa kanyang bunganga, what do you think? Junalin mo siya, okay? Siguro mapaperfect mo na to. It's true. Ay, it's false. Sorry. <laughs> More shot, false. Okay? Yan, false, false. Kaya nga, yung checking ng breathing, part of the primary survey. Kaya, ito yung mga una mong gagawin before you perform the secondary survey. Okay? Iti-check mo yung breathing. So the answer is false. Yun dapat ang una mong tinitingnan, hindi mo hinuhuli yung pag-check ng breathing. If someone is blocking the breathing of the victim, Okay? Ayan, yun dapat ang importante. You have to check. You have to perform the primary surveys and the secondary surveys. Okay? So I guess, and I know that you have uh, learned from our session today. So by next session kasi, I'll be teaching you the basic um steps in creating festival dances and i will be performing 
festival routine as well by using of these festival dances na ituturo ko by next session for your next activity kasi kasi in your module it stated there that you have to create your own festival dances and then right after creating that routine you have to send it to your subject teacher so as your tutor i'll be demonstrating the basics and showing you a routine created routine by using the basic steps. So I do hope by next meeting, I'll be somehow meeting you again. Okay, so it says here, thank you for listening. <laughs> and of course, don't forget to follow. And then if you missed some of the live tutorial videos of the e 2 Light tutors, go to their Facebook pages and their YouTube pages for you to be updated. Okay, especially sa mga ibang subject areas then sa mga ibang tutors for you to have a guide in answering your module. Again, shout out sa mga nandito, Dominic, Monte Virgin, Panganiban, Murcia, Ganela, Gabaliero, Feliciano. Okay? Um Si Ma'am na taga-Cagayan kanina. Ayan, si Galupo. Okay. Hello, Tutor Dada. Welcome back. Finally, I'm done with my session. I do hope that by next week, you will also join Tutor Dada, Tutor Nolet, and Tutor Tony for music, arts, and health. Kasi it's a good to know or it's a good to have this knowledge, continuous um, knowledge about your grade 9 mape. Okay? Sergio Semenya High School, Manila. Thank you so much, Sir Dada, for dropping by. Thank you so much. And I do hope po, by next week, some of our students, tutors, or parents, or teachers will be in your live tutorial. So it's already 9.55. Thank you. Thank you so much, Miss Feliciano. I do hope that I will see you next session. Okay, so bye. Goodbye. Thank you so much, Italy. Bye, guys. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating e tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating e Life free online tutorial session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating e Life tutorial session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippines social media accounts. Paalam!